The Ministry of Natural Resources is sounding the alarm about rabies. So far, they've found 164 animals infected with the disease since December. That's right. Elizabeth Hall caught up with ministry officers who are busy dropping bait vaccines in an effort to curb the spread of the disease. They're dropping them by chopper, by car, and by hand in parks, neighborhoods, and urban areas. We basically distribute baits in a 50 kilometer radius around any rabies case for two years. So far, 90,000 of the vaccine baits have been spread across the Hamilton area. The vaccine is covered in a marshmallow coating. It actually smells a lot like maple syrup. That's what draws the animal to it. And once they bite in, they'll have the vaccine in their system and they won't be able to get the disease for the next two to three years. 90% of the cases in this rabies outbreak have been discovered in the Hamilton area, the rest in Halton, Brant, and the Niagara region. Bill Dowd is the CEO of Skedaddle Humane Wildlife Control. He says residents should call in the professionals. A homeowner should never be live trapping an animal. Um, they capture that animal in one part of the city and take it to another. That could spread the disease. And trying to catch an infected animal puts people at a much higher risk of contracting the deadly disease. If you've been bitten and you get, you get to your doctor and, and you get your um, vaccination uh, within a timely manner, then it is um, preventable from you getting it. But if, you, if, it, if it's left untreated, um, it is 100% fatal. So far, no people have contracted rabies. If you see an animal behaving oddly, whether it's overly aggressive or friendly or just looks sickly, you're advised not to go near them and to call animal control. And while bats carry a different strain of the virus, if you have them in your home, you should call a professional to remove them and have them tested. Because sometimes bats can bite you in your sleep and you may not know you've been exposed. Back to you.